Going Linux Screencast number 5. Installing a Linux printer. Welcome to this Going Linux Screencast. I'm your host, Larry Bushy. Going Linux Screencasts are produced as part of a series by the Going Linux team for the Going Linux Podcast. In this episode, we used a ThinkPad T40 notebook computer with Ubuntu Linux 8.10 Intrepid IBEX installed on it. We will be installing an HP LaserJet 2100 parallel printer, an OfficeJet 6110 USB printer, and we will reinstall the HP LaserJet 2100 printer with it connected through a wireless print server. To begin the installation of a printer, we choose the System menu, then Administration, and then Printing. This brings up the Printer Configuration dialog box. Clicking on the New button, the software now begins searching for a printer. It has already recognized the HP LaserJet 2100 printer we have connected to the parallel port, and it is displaying the two categories of drivers that can be chosen. The HP 2100 series at the top uses the HP LIP driver set from Hewlett Packard. The HP that is the second entry is a more generic printer port connection. In the other selections, you can see we can also install a serial port printer, a printer using the HP Jet Direct for network connected printers. We can even install printers that are connected to Windows computers using Samba, the service that is used for connecting Linux and Windows computers. Now let's click the forward button to begin searching for drivers for our HP 2100 series printer. The printer setup utility has already chosen HP as the manufacturer of the printer using its built-in printer database. Since Ubuntu comes pre-configured with many printer drivers, let's simply click the forward button and we see that our HP LaserJet 2100 is automatically recognized and you can see that there are a number of drivers available even within this category of printer. Generally speaking, although there are printer drivers for PostScript and Gutenprint and various others, the default is generally the best. Let's click forward to continue our installation. Now we see that the printer has already been given a name related to the type of printer it is. Let's now enter a description that will appear in some dialog boxes. We'll call this HP LaserJet 2100. And we can describe the location of this printer. You can see that the name of my computer is already there, the T40. Let's indicate that this is on its parallel port and click Apply. Now you can see that in the printer configuration dialog box, our printer has appeared and the green check mark means that this is the default printer for our computer. You can also see if I right click that the enabled checkbox is checked as well as shared. Let's select properties and we can see the information that we have entered. Here is where we print a test page and as you can see the test page has been submitted. Let's close that. The fact that the printer state now says idle means that our printing has finished. We have configured our first printer.
Now, to configure a USB printer is even easier. Let me get the USB cable. The printer is on. I will plug it in. And now you will see that the USB printer is automatically recognized. It's already recognized as an Office Jet 6100 series. As the little uh, notification says, it's ready for printing. I could simply close this notification box or click Configure. Let's click Configure to see how this printer has been automatically configured by Ubuntu. It's already been given the name, Hewlett Packard Office Jet 6100 series. Its location has again defaulted to my computer name. Let's put now USB port and click Apply. Our location is now applied. We'll press the Print Test button to make sure that it prints. Close. You can see that the dialog says Processing. And if I hover over the printer icon on the panel and click on it, you'll see that the page that we're printing, our test page, appears in the list. Once that's completed, the printer icon in the panel will go away. Now you see that we have the HP 2100 series and the Office Jet 6100 series installed. If I drag this down, the 6100 is a printer, fax, copier, scanner. Notice that it is also automatically configured the fax machine as well. Identified it as fax for the HP Office Jet and it is ready to go. Now I've disconnected my HP 2100 LaserJet printer from the parallel port and connected it as I normally use it through a wireless print server. The HP 2100 is connected to this wireless print server. Let's configure it now. We can see that the computer is connected to the wireless network. Let's configure the printer. System, Administration, Printing. You can see the other printers we already have connected, our HP LaserJet and the 6100, and we'll click New. Searching for drivers, and this time, for this print server, I know that the HP Jet Direct from Hewlett Packard is what we want. The print server is located at IP address 192.168.2.100 on my network, and the port number for a single port device is 9100, and for a two-port print server, the second printer would be located on port 9101. Let's click forward to begin our printer configuration. Again, searching for drivers. In this case, because we are connecting the printer through another device, Ubuntu does not immediately recognize the printer as an HP LaserJet 2100. And so it makes a generic printer configuration. We can scroll down the list of computer makers and select HP from the list. This was automatically selected when we configured using the parallel port. And now, if we type the letter L, on our keyboard at this point, it will take us to the first listing for LaserJet printers, and we can scroll down to find our LaserJet 2100. Let's again choose the default printer driver and click 
forward to continue. Since Ubuntu did not recognize the printer automatically, we'll have to type in our own name for this printer, HP LaserJet 2100, and the description. And let's indicate that this is on the wireless network and click Apply. Now you can see that our HP LaserJet 2100 is listed in the list alongside our other printers that are directly connected to this computer. If I right click and select Properties and click the Print Test page, we'll see if it successfully prints the page. And it is doing that and as you can see printer state now went to idle indicating that the printer has finished. One final step, let's right click on the icon for the laser printer on the network and set it as the default printer for our system. You can see that the green check mark is no longer on the directly connected printer and is now on the wireless printer. And we're now ready to use our printers whether we are directly connected or connected by the wireless network. The music provided by Mark Blasco at podcastthemes.com.